Uh, good afternoon, guys. I want to say first off, thank you to uh, CDYSL, uh, Tim Owens, and the rest of the board for having me today. Um, I'm a very big proponent of, of coaching education. Uh, myself and my staff go on a yearly basis, and I always think it's, it's great to invest in yourself to, to make yourself better as a coach and to, to help the players you work with. Uh, again, my name is John Siena. I'm the head men's soccer coach at the College of St. Rose. Uh, before we get started, I just want to introduce a couple people. Uh, I've got my assistant coaches helping me out, Jared Farrell and Eric Larkin. And then today we're going to have uh, with us the U14 and U13 uh, Alley Cats uh, soccer club boys team with us. Uh, today's session is playing out of the back, developing uh, movement and relationships. Uh, I'm a very big proponent on, on technical players and technical soccer, possession. Uh, it's what we try and do, again, in our short time so far being at St. Rose. Um, and just the, you know, the, the more popular teams that you've seen today, your Man Cities, your Napolis, uh, your Barcelonas, are all teams that are very comfortable on the ball. Uh, a couple things that go into that, though, is not just them being very talented, but also having very good functional te technique related to their position. And then on top of that, the, the movement patterns that they work on on a daily basis to be able to incorporate those kind of relationships. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to see some of those things uh, acted out today. Um, if you have any questions, please wait till the end. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, today's session, like I said, is going to be very much working on a technical warm-up, okay, that you can do with your team. And then based upon working through uh, a couple different activities that should become uh, simple to complex and a little more game realistic as we go. Okay, so we'll get started. So uh, just to paint the picture, just so you see, we have two center backs right here. Raise your hands, boys. One and two. We've got a right back. Raise your hand over there, Zach. And we've got a left back here with Nico. Okay? Uh, and then we have two boys working as what I call number six, or like a, a deep-lying center mid. Uh, so we play, this past uh, full, we played a 4-2-3-1. Um, so again, a lot of what you're going to see is in that formation uh, for today. Okay? So both sides are going to be a mirror activity. So both sides will be working at the same time. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate with one side here. So our left back has the ball. All right, do me a favor, Evan, if you could start on the posts, and why don't you move it up two steps for me, okay? Can you do the same thing for me, bud? Perfect. Okay, Evan drops off at an angle. He plays in the ball, takes it across his body. Okay, Kevin pops out. He gets the ball with his left foot, receives. Okay, and he's going to play it across to the other outside back. Okay, so both sides are going to be going at the exact same time. So, Zach, as it's happening, obviously, you would go on the opposite side. Okay, so to me, fair, start a ball there. Nico, start a ball here. Okay. After you pass, you follow your pass to the next pass. Okay? Ready, and begin. Go. Follow your pass. Good. Nice and sharp. So what we're working on, again, is a lot of technical repetitions are very realistic towards the game. Okay, so you're going to hear me make a lot of coaching points about body shape today, about playing lead foot, okay, playing into space, all right, checking your shoulder to be able to see that space, okay, and again, being able to develop relationships between positions on the field. Other way, Kevin, this way, bud. Good, good. Relax. You good? No, no. Good. Okay, and go. Quick. Good. Okay, and hold up. Okay, let's make it a little more game realistic. So, guys, what I don't want to see is guys standing at the pole. Okay, so do me a favor. All right, so Nico has the ball. Okay, first thing I'm going to work on. Can I just back up for a second, bud? Okay. First thing we're going to talk about is just, again, visual cues. So, do me a favor, Nico. Can you go on the opposite side of that pole with the soccer ball in that space? Okay. Perfect, okay? As I start to see the outside mid start to open up towards me, so Nico, pretend like you received it from Evan and start to open up my way. He opens up my way. That's my visual cue for me now to start to open up and use all my space. Okay, so now, again, Nico, if we're attacking this way, which foot should you play so we can get out pressure? My lead foot, right? Because it faces me where? To the goal, perfect. So Nico would play my goal, okay? Lead foot. This time, guys, I want you to take a heavy first touch up field. Pretend like you see a bad picture, a lot of numbers from the other team. Pull back any turn, and then play it across. Nick, same thing. On the post, okay? As I start to turn, now you're opened up. I play his lead foot, which is his right foot, and now it takes him out the opposite way from pressure into our center mids. Okay? So just make sure the movements are exactly correct, please. Okay? So let's get a bull start there. Let's get a bull start here. All right? Guys, you're going to pull it back any turn you want, and then we're going to start. Can you start back on the post for me? Thank you. Play. Quick. Nice and tall. Tell him to turn and go. Quick. At speed. Good. Take a look and go. 
Good. Follow your pass. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Let's go. Come on. Lead foot. Tell the guy to turn every time. Quick. Let's go. Turn and play. Quick. Get across. Good. He opens up. Body shape. Pulls it across. Out of pressure. Turns. Try and go around the post if we can. Center backs. Take that first touch around the post, please. Let's go. Sharp. He takes a heavy first touch. Head up. Good and play. And get out. Quick. Fast. Good. Good and hold. Okay. Second thing. What do you think about the volume right now? Is this, is this, if we were playing outside, would you be able to hear right now? Probably not, right? So what can we do? Okay. What should we be telling every time? Every time. Turn, right? Call him for the ball. Turn. Okay. Other thing I'm going to show you, nonverbal cues. Play the ball up to Nico. So I'm the center back. Okay. He's in trouble. Outside back's in trouble. Okay. I start to open up. All right. I want you to take little looks here. Okay. Because at the end of the day, if we have all the opposition on this field, Okay, we should have a numerical advantage and a lot of space on this side of the field. Okay, so take a little look. I open up, okay, and I want you to show now. Show. So Nico plays my lead foot. I show. I take a little look. I see I have space. Okay, and now we're able to get out and go. Same thing in here. Take a little looks. I don't want you guys checking in. Try and check in away from the other guy. Take a look, a look over your shoulder, lead foot, and get out of pressure. Ball back up there, please. Make sure we got two guys. Carter, can you sprint over there, bud? Thank you. And play. Quick, let's go. Nice and sharp. Lead foot. Come on. Quick. At speed. Sprint where you need to go. Sharp. Take a look and across. Sprint where you need to go. Quick. Quick. Pull back. Come on. Cleaner. Cleaner. Let's go. Lead foot. Take a look. Call for it. Call for it. Uh. So, Evan, try and take your first touch where you want to go. Okay? Not the opposite direction. Good. Touch. And play. Good. Across your body. Good. Excellent. Very good. That's sharp. Opens up. Excellent. First touch. Good. So as you'll start to see, coaches, okay, it's not just about teaching technique, but you got to teach decision-making as well, okay? I call it visual cues, things that the players are starting to see on the field that are telling them to make the correct decision and use the correct technique, okay? Very important. So again, body shape, okay, first touch. These are all little techniques or little things that your players should start to look for to teach them and show them which technique to start to use next. Pulls it back, good. Across, good, and hold it there. Okay, perfect. For time's sake, we're going to move on to the next one. So let's make sure we get two guys on the outsides, please. Okay, and then one guy here. All right, so next one, okay, and hopefully you start to see things are like the game. Okay, all right. So outside back receives the ball. Okay, body shape open. So Nico, try and get as wide as you can right now for me, bud. Good, facing upfield like you received. Good, he opens up. He can't get it. I come up at a deep angle where I can take my first touch out of pressure. He plays it here. As this is happening, okay, and we want to be able to connect the back line with now our midfield three. Daniel, I want you to pop into this pocket of space here. Okay, he shows here, all right, but maybe there's a guy that's marking him. Okay, now, Dan, what I want you to do is I want you, I'm going to dribble around this pole. I want you to try and receive it on the opposite side of the court over there, okay? Okay, so I'm going to dribble. Go, 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 quick. Good, I play him. I play his lead foot. He's able to turn. And now he's able to play out of pressure. Okay, so now center backs, this is what I'm looking for. Dropping off at an angle, receiving, see the center mid, center mids check, don't get it, get to the opposite side, penetrate into the midfield, play that center mid, get out of pressure. Can you demonstrate for me really quickly? Let's see it. Play, quick. He shows, he doesn't get it, drive, drive, at speed, at speed, at speed. Good. But I'd like you to, I know you're a very good dribbler. Get in front of these posts, okay? Use these posts as a guide. I want you into the midfield, okay? Can you rewind? Rewind back where you were. And let's begin and play. Play, quick. Sharp, lead foot. Drive, drive, into the midfield. Drive, drive, drive. So, Kevin, I need you to sprint and dribble. Good, and freeze. So, boys, remember, listen. We want good technical players so we can have possession and we can build up. If he's not ready to the ball, don't play him, right? Keep dribbling. At the end of the day, you're creating a numerical advantage in here, and you're forcing one of those guys to step, and then that guy opens up. Okay? But be confident on the dribble. Don't give him the ball until he's looking at you, okay, and he's showing you where he wants it. Okay? Play. Quick. Let's go. Come on. At speed. Lead foot. Tell him to turn. Every time. Drive. 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 Good. And across. Come on. Cleaner. Next. Play. And across. 
Good. Drive. Drive into midfield. Drive into midfield. At speed. Good. Perfect. Next. Let's go. At speed. Quick, quick, quick. Across. Drive. At speed. So what I like to do is to work both sides. It creates a little bit of chaos, which is very realistic to the game. Okay? So obviously there's no immediate opposition. Okay? But what these guys have to start to do is start to occupy different spaces, and their movements start to, start to open up okay, and develop relationships. Good and hold. Okay. So do me a favor. Let me get this ball back here. Zach, you're going to work with me. Okay? So as I come here, guys, okay, you take a look. Do me a favor. Playing the ball back to me. I take a look. I see I have space. Okay, Zach, show me for me in that space. Okay? I see Zach's maybe marked. He plays in the ball. Zach, get out now. Okay? The higher I drive into the midfield and the more space I have, the more I'm able to play a ball higher up the field. Okay? So what I want to see, guys, show Center backs, push into the midfield and make sure you get away from the pressure into the opposite space, please. Don't pass it back here. Push into the midfield, suck the defender out, play the guy who's now open on the opposite side. Okay, can you do that for me? Ball back there, please. Good, let's recycle. Let's get two guys on either side. Ready and play. Quick, at speed, quick. Lead foot, show, drive, at speed. Drive, 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 drive. He's not ready, he's not ready. Don't play him the ball. Next, play, let's go quick. Good, at speed. Heavy touch. Drive into midfield. At speed. Eyes up. Eyes up. Call for the ball. Drive. Drive. At speed. Good. Quick. Next. Let's go. Pull back. Drive into midfield. Drive. 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 Make sure as you're receiving, you see who your center mid is that you're working with. Make sure. Make sure you receive. You see who he's working with. Very good. Next. Play. Quick. Drive into midfield. See where he is. Call for it, Zach. Next, play. Call for the ball. Coaches, encourage them to call for the ball. I know, these guys are always Instagram and everything else, but don't say two words, right? Encourage them to talk, all right? Very simple language. Turn, man on. Players should know their names by now, okay? This group's been working for a while. Guys, call for the ball. Show them where you want it. Communicate. Very good. Excellent. Good and relax. Okay, last one. Much better towards the end, guys. Okay? Much, much better. Let me get two additional players, coach. Do me a favor. Knock the ball back there, please. And let's do this. Uh, Jacob, can you do me a favor? I want you standing in the space between the two bleachers, please. Okay? And then say to the same thing, okay? Go stand by those two individuals over there, if you wouldn't mind. They're nice people, I promise. Right there's perfect, okay? So now we're going to build up the numbers here, and this will be the last one of the technical warm-up, okay? So we still got our outside back, our two center backs, our right back here. We've got our number six, who's going to be in a little more of a deep line position. And then we're going to what we call an eight, like a box-to-box -box center mid. Okay, now we're going to develop that kind of relationship as well. Okay, so this time, Daniel, do me a favor, get nice and wide. So Daniel receives the ball. Okay, he takes a look already. And Daniel, what I want you to do, instead of going upfield, I just want you to take your first touch back in. Okay, so I'm going to pass you the ball, bud. Okay, so I pass the ball to Daniel. He takes a look. He already sees that there's nothing there, so he pulls it back. Boom, perfect. So now, because he's getting pressured, I want you to pop out a little bit wider here, okay? So now he's in a wider position, and by doing this, okay, and this happens a lot when your team's getting pressed and you don't have a lot of space in the midfield. By doing this, he's now opening up space for the number six. Can you go over there, bud? To drop in between the two center backs, okay? And this is what's going to happen now, okay? Play it into the center back. Number eight comes. One touch to the six. Boom. Take a touch. Play it out to the opposite outside back. Bang. Perfect. And we're out of pro trouble. Okay. You follow your pass. You come in. No, no, no. Yep. All right. Perfect. You're so smart. You got it. Up there and then move and go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Do me a favor. Let's go. Evan, can you jog over here with the ball? At speed, my friend. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Fast. Good. And let's see if we can't get it, boys. Ready. And play. Quick. Takes his touch. Good. Good and play. Okay, so what I like to do, I, I don't like to do a lot of, okay, two touch games and things like that because it's not realistic. Again, you're trying to teach decision making. So here, all right, a lot of times if the guy is not ready, okay, don't play on the ball. You guys control what happens with that soccer ball, okay? And we're trying, especially when you're starting to link up some relationships and movement. 
okay? Some chaos, okay? It's very important that you feel comfortable on the ball in those tight settings. So let's see if they can't figure it out. It's a lot going on. Again, this would be actually probably an activity we would do with our college team, and they're doing a fantastic job so far. So, okay, so hold up for a quick second, boys, okay? So let's see if we can't figure it out together, all right? Just remember where you need to go next, okay? I know it gets very crazy, okay? But part of this is so that it's chaotic like the game. So let me, can I get an eight? Remember, eights, go stand by those, those two fine people over there. Sadie's signed right in that space, okay? And then I need my sixes over here, okay? So outside back becomes a center back. Center back becomes the number eight. Eight becomes the six. Six, you go the opposite side. Okay, go through it slow first for me. And then coaches, why don't we do this? Can you do me a favor? Can you grab me two cones so that we can designate it, please? That'd be perfect. Ready. Let's see. Go slow at first, okay? Go slow. Play. Go slow. Let's see how it looks. Go ahead and hold. Okay, so that's part of the problem. Do me a favor. Can you take two touches there, please? That'd be perfect, okay? You guys take one, all right, because you're going to be pressured. So, and then these guys are going to take two, okay? So we get the timing and spacing correct. Ready, pipe, quick. Good. Touch. Touch across and play. Good. Start to open. So Sadie, over here, bud. Quick, quick, quick. This way, bud. Too late, too late, too late, too late. Over here. Over here, bud. Over here, quick. Next, next, and play. Quick. It's okay, it's okay. Next one, next one, next one. No problem. Next, next, next. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. And across. Good. Take a touch and play. Good and hold. Okay, we'll make one last coaching point, okay, while you guys are situated. Okay? So here's the deal. Let me be fair, Daniel. Get nice and wide like a, an outside back would be. Okay, perfect. If I stand here, okay, Zach, can you come in here, please? And remember... Why we're doing this is because both sides are going to go, so it's going to open up space for him. If we both stand here, it defeats the purpose. Literally one or two forwards would be able to mark all three of us. So it's very important right now we develop this relationship. I'm opening up here to create space for who? For who? For our number six, our defensive mid, to drop in and get it. Okay, so it's very important, guys. The details are correct. Okay, lead foot, okay, when you're passing, but opening up your space right away and providing the right angle of support. Okay? Let's see if we can't get it. I'm going to give you one more minute, and we're going to move on to the activities. Okay? Doing a great job. Ready. And play. Quick. Quick. Sharp. 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 Good. Remember, don't pass unless he is ready. Do not pass unless he is ready. Quick. Call for the ball. Call for the ball. Call for the ball. Come on. Call for the ball. Take a look. Touch and play. Good. Quick. And across. Kevin, do me a favor. Take two touches next time. Thank you, buddy. Quickly. Yes. Come, come. Immediately, Daniel. Body shape open. Take a look. Uh, take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Next. Play. Quick, quick, quick. Last 30 seconds. Quick. At speed. Touch. Good. Takes a touch. Good. Excellent. Much better. That was clean. And time. We'll stop there. Perfect. Good job, boys. Get a quick drink. Okay. Do me a favor. Let's keep these, uh, these polls picked up. Coaches, let's get set up. All right, guys. We're going to start in 30 seconds. Okay. So do me a favor. Quick drink. Back in here. Let's go. On the hop. So it's very important. So the quicker, and this is my opinion, the quicker you can take the isolated techniques and you can make a game realistic, the more it transfers into the real-like game. Okay? Again, soccer is a decision-making sport. It's a problem-solving sport. you got to throw problems at them. Okay? So this is a technical passing and receiving activity. There's some turns. There's some vision. There's some awareness to it. Okay? All things that soccer players need. And again, if we were to do this on an actual field, and, and we are going to try and adjust as best as possible with the space, if we were doing this on a field, we would do it in the defensive to middle third, so it's very functional and game realistic. Okay? The more it, it can translate to the game, the easier it is for these guys to be able to learn and apply it when we get to the larger game. All right, boys, jogging into the coaches. They're going to get themselves set up. I'm going to explain the game. Okay? So now we're going to do two 4v3 games. Okay? And you'll start to see how it builds up. Two 4v3 games. Okay? And we'll talk about the relationships. One group has an outside back, a center back, a number six, and a number eight. So those two midfielders. The other team essentially is going to be a center forward, a winger, and a center mid. So 4v3. The group of four are going to be defending the goals down here. And it's going to be two separate games going on. Going to be defending the goal down here. They have to make three passes before they can score in the goal. Okay? The attacking group, the team that's going to be defending these goals and attacking that one, all they have to do is press 
win the ball and go straight to goal. So we're focusing on the guys being able to develop some composure on the ball and start to develop some of those relationships, okay, and those, some of those movement patterns for the later games to, to, after this, okay? How are we doing with the setup, guys? Quick, 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 quick. So coaches, do me a favor, Coach Jarrett and Coach Eric, just have a couple balls. The balls right now, guys, will always start down here with the defensive team. Okay? Quick, quick, quick. So to me and Fair, knock down a ball here, please. Okay, perfect. That was great. All right. So hold there, please. So let's get ourselves organized to start out. Okay? So Nick Pepe, do me a favor. Um, give the ball to Thomas. Okay? Can you get as wide as you can right to the yellow line? Perfect. Okay? Thomas, you're going to pretend like you're a center back. So I want you right in here. That's perfect. Excellent. Sadie, you're going to be my number six. Okay, so right here. And then Nico, I know it's a tight space, but can you be a little bit higher up the field as a number eight? Excellent. Jacob, my number nine. Pretend like you're marking the center back. Zach, you're going to be my number ten. Okay, attacking mid. And then Nico, you're going to be a wide winger, number seven. Okay, perfect. So here's the game, guys. Blue, you've got to make three passes before you can score on the goal down here. Okay? You guys are playing on this half. This is a separate game, okay? Just listen to the instructions, though. Yellow, all you need to do before you can score is just win the ball and score. So you're trying to press and essentially counter right away. Blue, three passes, and then you're trying to score. Okay? We're going to demonstrate for 10 seconds. Let's see if we can't do it. Play up to the half line. Right, play. One. Two. Play on, play on. And coach, just be careful with the, uh, right here. Good, new ball. Ball, play, quick. One. Coach Eric, we good? Good, and play, both sides. So obviously on a bigger field, a little more spacing, you'd be able to paint the picture, but hopefully you start to see maybe some of the movement patterns we worked on with the technique applied into this game. Okay, we'll see. Good, balls out, we start here. Balls down there, always oh, start from the center back, play. Coach, coaches, if it goes off, just give it to the center back, please, and play. Unlucky, ball starts there. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Ball's there from coach. Quick, quick, quick. Always from the center back. Good. I love that. Love that. Excellent. Way to receive with your lead foot. That was fantastic. Oh, good and freeze. Okay, both, both sides. Okay, hold on for a second. Stop. I'm going to catch you being good. I, I love that movement, okay? So we're going to call what's called interchange. Okay, so I like how Thomas, so again, right now, the blue teams, both blue teams have a numerical advantage, okay, so they should be able to keep the ball, all right, and what I liked here is the way they use their space. So Thomas was over here, Nick Pepe, show me where you went. He went nice and high, okay, and because there's not really a lot of space, let me fair say, go back up there, since there wasn't a lot of space in this area, what did you do? Where did you go to get the ball? Good, he dropped in, okay, so at all times, guys, okay, I'm going to use the words width and depth. Okay, try and have width, which is using the space east and west, and try and have depth, which is north and south. Okay, and what I loved is you created some depth for yourself so you could face the field, all right, and by doing that, you also create a little 2v1 out here that kind of stymied him and you're able to score. That was fantastic. All right, both sides, play. Go, quick, quick. Good, keep it. So Evan, nice and deep, give him an angle, give him an angle, cross your body, good. Good, I love that, fantastic. So we always try and get them into the game as quickly as possible, all right, and then try and make your coaching points after that so that, again, you can see if they can get it right away, and if not, you can start to guide them where to go. Freeze. Good. So hold there. Stop. Both sides. Okay. So hold there. Okay. Paint the picture. Right now, how's your spacing? Blue. It's tight, right? Which spacing are you missing? Depth or east-west? Width. Depth. Okay. So right now, okay, if we're able to get the ball here, do me a favor, get the ball down. Okay. He has nobody. You're back in here, Danny, right? Okay. He really doesn't have anyone that's close to the goal. Okay. And pretend like that's not a goal. Right. Let's pretend like that's a forward. Your job as a center mid is also to do what? To be able to get, connect the ball from the defenders to who? 
to the forward to score. Okay? So at all times, if he's got time and space, I want you to create as much depth as possible for me. Okay? Here's the other thing I'm going to say, though. All right? Are you getting as wide as you possibly can? Okay? And I'm going to show you why. Do me a favor. Go back there. Who's the, the, the best guy to pass right now and why? Who's the best guy if, if we could? Daniel. Why? Because he's closest to what? To the goal. So he's a, that penetrating pass will allow us to get field as quickly as possible to be able to build out of the back. But do me a favor. You guys are smart defenders. What would you do to start? Who would you want to take? Ah, I love that. Moving into the middle to take him away. Okay? So this is why you need to be out here. Come here. Come out of here, please. Go back where you were. No, Daniel, go back where you were. You're good. Greg, go over there. Okay? By coming out here and creating a little bit of width, okay, now you make Ian to make a decision. Okay? If Ian steps here, Ian step out, what opens up? That penetrating pass. Good. Go back, Ian. If Ian and Greg start to worry about Daniel, okay, who now opens up? Can you get a little bit closer for me? To him? To him? Thank you. Okay? Now you're able to play out here. Lead foot, first touch forward, bang. Being able to penetrate and build out of the back. Okay? Width and depth. Ready. Play. And move. Adjust those angles. Good. Good. I love that. Good. Excellent. Okay. Good. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Can we win her back right away? Goal. Good shot. Well done, Zach. And again, can you give us... So, Evan, as soon as you pass, always depth. Quick, quick, quick. Amelia, can we open up? Good. Good. I love that. Much better. Excellent. Fantastic, Carter. Oh, unlucky. Ball's here. Ball's here. Amelia, always, always. So, Coach Eric, if it goes out, always start here. Unlucky. Ball here. Ball here. Ball here. Lead foot. Lead foot. Lead foot if we can. Let him force up field. Freeze. Stop. Can you go back five steps where you were? Thank you. Okay. What's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this picture? I love that you're trying to go forward, but is this the time and place? Who's he got right now? He's got a defender on him. Is he going to be able to play the ball through? Okay, and since he's the last guy back, what happens? If he loses the ball, what ends up happening? They score. You get countered, okay? So very important, teaching the next part of the game, right? We lose the ball, what happens next? Okay, again, we're building out of the back, okay? So it's very important that we're very safe. What I prefer here, give as much depth as possible. Stretch this attacker out, this number nine. Make him make a decision. I'm here. Watch here. Stop. Okay? I can even be out all the way out here. If I'm here, where can you go where you can get as close to the goal? Perfect. Okay. So now, Daniel, where can you go that maybe if Nick gets the ball, he can pass, you can score right away? Perfect. Okay. Is that as high as you can get? Excellent. Much better. Okay. So what I want you to focus on, okay, is keeping safe shape, okay, but providing depth next time back here, all right, and really trying to stretch out these midfield, these three guys here. The three yellows, okay? Ready, can you come back here, please? As the ball gets played across to me, favor, Nick, as he starts to open up this way, I want you to start to push up, and let's see if we can't stretch these guys out. Ready. Play, quick. Cross. Good, always. Good, and play. Other side, play. Quick, quick, quick. Good, good. Be safe, be safe. Good. So again, when we talk about possession, we talk about angles of support, we talk about different shapes. So triangles, diamonds, all very important because it allows you to have as many passing options as possible to keep possession and to build attacks. Lead foot, Nick, so you can get out of trouble. Lead foot, lead foot. Mm. Be patient, good. Body shape. 
Good and hold. Okay. Both teams now. Both teams. Okay. All right. No need for the three passes. So now blue, if you feel like you can go right to goal, go right to goal. Okay. Quick decision making with the passes and make sure you have a little bit of movement. All right, last point I'm going to make. Six and the eight. Okay. Guys on the ball. He should have three options at all times. If you're not an option, all right, you may have to slide down to adjust your angle support, or you may have to interchange, okay? So do me a favor, all right? Give the ball back to the center back, please, okay? S my number six, can you slide up here, Sadie? Thank you. Can you go up there? Okay, as high as you can. Try and always see if you can keep a diamond shape or at least be able to keep it, and if you can't get it, show me a movement that you guys can change spaces but still be able to get the ball from Thomas if need be. Yes, I like that. Good. Okay, that's what we call interchange. All right, but now it, it takes a little bit of cooperation between the two of them. It takes a little bit of looking, okay, and it's a little more sophistication. All right, you guys got one more minute. Let's see if you can do it with no uh, number of passes needed. Right, play. Pass and join. Good. Good. Eyes up, Carter. Take a look before you receive, bud. Good shot, Nico. Well done. Again, can you give us depth? Can you give us depth? Ball's out. We got another ball here. Oh, unlucky. Good save, Thomas. Good. Good. Keep opening, Thomas. Good, and relax. Okay, boys, do me a favor, get a quick drink and then come back in 30 seconds, okay? Perfect. Coaches, if we can, let's get the ball in piles over here, please. Okay, so now, again, and again, the space is tight, so the boys are doing a fantastic job. Obviously, the more space you have, the easier it is for the guy who's on the ball to make decisions, okay? And, the, and allows us to be able to be a little more fluid with regards to moving it. Again, from the defensive to midfield, middle third. Um, and not easy. I think the boys are doing a great job. Okay, next part of the game, and I'm going to explain it as, as the boys get a drink. Okay, so same concept. Okay, blue's building out of the back. Okay, and they're trying to score by in, into one of these two goals. Yellow, if they win it, they can counter to one of these two goals. Okay, but now we're going to put them in a little bit more of a shape, and we're going to be able to play both sides at the same time. So it's going to be a full court activity. Uh, so, coach, can you set them up, please? So, again, you should start to see the same themes. Okay, playing lead foot, okay, when we can turn and go forward and get out of pressure. Okay, being able to have a little bit of vision and awareness and relationship with guys that are around you. All right, so again, if I move this way, how does the guy next to me interact and, and take my space? Or, or if I go this way, how does that drag a defender out and now open someone else up? So these are the little things that we try and work on, okay, and, and like we talked about, some of the better teams in the world work on on a daily basis to be able to play the beautiful soccer that they do, okay? So, Nico, why don't you slide up here, please? Perfect. Perfect. So, Greg, go over there, bud, as wide as you can. So, Ian, you're going to relax and, and rest right now. Perfect. All right, Jacob over here. Okay, and then let's do a midfield three. So let's put, pretend like we're playing against a 4-3-3. Three, three. So Sadie, you're going to be our number six for yellow, okay? Be fair. Pretend like you're matched up with him, you're matched up with him. So here's the deal, guys, okay? Yellow, same thing. So now we're playing just a full-on game, okay? So it's going to be 7v6, okay? Blue, you're trying to build out of the back, okay? And, and actually, why don't we do this? Come, you're going to give the ball in every time, okay? Quickly, my friend, quickly, okay, with coach, Okay? Back four, midfield three, trying to score in one of those two goals. Can you point to those goals for me so you know which ones are scoring? Perfect. Yellow, if you win the ball, you're trying to score in these two goals. Yellow, you can go on either half of the basketball court. Okay, so we're going to try and utilize all the space. Yellow, you can go on either half. Blue, here's the deal. Midfield three, raise your hand. One, two, and three. You can go on either side, but defenders, you must stay on the side you're on right now. Okay, so you two must stay. The right back, right center back, you got to stay on this side. Left center back, left back must stay on this side. Okay, make sense? Okay, ready. Ball will always start here. Very good, ready. And play, quick. So Ian, you're just going to 
only when the ball goes in right now, okay? So back up as much as possible. Let's go. Good. Unlucky, unlucky. Coaches, let's, let's move these goals out. Let's put two cones here instead, okay, so that they have to score here. Let's get these goals out and push two coals. Yeah, we need to do poles, perfect. Get two poles, boom, 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 on the other side. Unlucky, unlucky, ball starts here. Always back here, play, play. Good, always adjust the angle. No, just the width, the width of the... Oh, I love that. Excellent. Unlucky. Ball's here. Ball's here. Play. Good. Fantastic. Play on. Freeze. Do me a favor. Can you give the ball? When I say freeze, do me a favor. Just freeze exactly where you are. So, Nick Pepe, can you slide up five steps for me? Can you, yeah, can you give it back to him, Thomas? Thank you. Uh, can you slide over here for two seconds, Kevin? Right here, bud. Perfect. So, Thomas, what do you think about your angle right now? And go back a little bit farther, okay? So here's the deal, guys, okay? If you want to be a possession team, it's very important, your angles, okay? So right now, if you're standing here, okay, you're very closed, and how close are you to him? Could you give him a high five if he ran over two steps? Yeah, right? Okay? So show me somewhere where you could get deeper and you could maybe take your first touch pass, Kevin. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay? And in the game, we'd have a little more space. Okay, how about over here? Isn't that a little better? Because now if you took a big first touch into that space, you could even get by him. So here's the deal, Okay? Always, not staring at the ball, but also staring at what's around you. So as you, he has the ball, he starts to get pressured by Zach. I'm taking little looks here. I open up a little bit deeper, playing the ball. Boom, across my body, and now we're able to get out. Okay, and look at all those teammates on the opposite side. Ball's there, please. Can you do me, can you start right up there where you were, Thomas? Okay, here's the deal. You're going to play the ball. As he's going to drop off, you're going to play him the ball. First touch, past him. Swing, and we're alive on the pass. Ready, play, on the pass. Boom, and across, and play. Good. Good. Sadie. Sadie. And hold. Uh, coaches, do me a favor, okay? If it gets close, remember, so that'd be like out of bounds, okay? So if it, they get close, done, ball starts here, okay? Play, quick. So one thing I want you to start to notice and recognize is start to look for the spacing, okay? Start to watch the outside backs. Are they using all their width, okay? Center backs, as soon as we win the ball, are they dropping off and providing depth? Are we starting to see the midfield three be able to interact with each other, find space to be able to, again, link the defenders all the way up to these forwards up here that we're trying to play. Freeze! Oh, man, that was a great pass. I'm sorry, okay? But, okay, talk me through. Where'd you take your first touch? Back into pressure, okay? Are you utilizing all your space? Because this is what's going to happen. Do me a drop off, please. You want to make these guys make decisions. Okay, so now Kevin has a decision to make. He presses you, okay? All right? Now it opens up space in the midfield. You take your first touch out of pressure here, okay? Now we're able to create a 1, 2, 3, V, 1, or 3, V, 2 out here. Okay, so again, drop off, all right? And really focus on taking that touch with your lead foot to get out of pressure. Let me play his lead foot, please. And we're live. Play. Quick. Cross. Mm, way to the pass. Goal. Ball's here. Ball's here. Always from here. So notice, okay, so even though blue is outnumbering them, I just took off a, a defensive mid as well. So it's actually right now 7v5. Okay, if they don't use the spacing and their interactions and relationships are not on point, it still is very difficult right now.
Go. Excellent. Good spacing. Good. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Push on, Carter. Unlucky. Play. Play on. Play on. Can you give us depth? Play on. Ball's out. We start here. Play. Freeze. Okay, I'm going to catch it being good. Stop for a second. Stop, 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 stop. Go back where you were, my friends. Nico. Okay? This is Nico. All right? So we're going to talk about balance now, okay, which I thought you did a much better job now. Okay, so you, you, you outnumber him 3v2 right now. Okay, but if you're all crunched up and your spacing's not good, okay, then we run into issues. One thing I'd like to see is guys on different levels. Okay, so we have a midfield three right now. You have a deep line guy who's going to kind of help these guys be able to, to play shorter passes. You got a number 10 who's going to help link up with the forward, the number nine and the two wingers. And then you have an eight who's going to be ranging in between. Okay, what I'd like to see is when the ball gets on one side, so let me be fair, ball's here with the center back or it's out with Carter, okay? Let's not have, if we can, if we can, not have all three guys either on the same level where we're all close to the ball and far away from the goal, and let's not have, if we can, all three guys on the same side, okay? So let's see if we can't have one guy always in a passing lane on the opposite side as an escape valve so we can do what? Switch the field. Very good, my man. Ready, play. Unlucky, unlucky. Can you get it back? Can you get it back? Yeah. Communicate, communicate. Be patient now. Be patient. Be patient. Good. Body shape. Good. Excellent. I love that turn. Good. Great stuff. So as you're going to start to see, what you're going to start to see is some technical breakdowns. Guys not checking their shoulder, not understanding, again, their spacing, not understanding, uh, again, the pressure that's coming on them. And also, and I, I made a coaching point before, receiving with the wrong foot. Receiving with the wrong foot messes up your body shape, so it, it takes away your vision, and it also takes your first touch back into pressure, and it doesn't allow you to build out and get out. Good. Uh, good and hold there. Uh, do me a favor, Sadie, why don't you jump in and switch with uh, Nico? Quickly, quickly. On the hop. Okay. Ready. Play. Quick. Good. Love that. Hold. Freeze. Got to catch you being good. I'm sorry. Okay. What did you do? right there, Evan, that allowed you to be able to play that penetrating pass. Drove into the middle. Okay, so center backs. One thing I want you to pay attention to right now, okay, if these guys are doing a good job of marking them, okay, so if you can't find one of these midfielders and these wingers are really occupied, okay, worrying about our outside backs, don't be afraid to not push into the midfield, okay, and now maybe you make it a 4v3, a 3v2 advantage, Okay, and two things are going to happen. Maybe you can play the ball here. Maybe one of these guys steps you and it opens up a guy higher up the field. Okay, but have confidence on the ball. All right, and allow us to build and play out of the back. Okay, ready, play. Across your body, across your body. Left foot, right? Take a look. It's okay, play, 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 play. Nice and loud. Use your outside voice, please. Mm, unlucky. Ball's here, play, play. Keep it. Be patient. Good. I love that. Across. Good. Go. And hold for a quick second. Okay. I'm going to throw in one, guys, I haven't seen yet. I think it's because, obviously, Ian's here. Okay? Do me a favor. All right? What do we do with that, that third passing pattern? Okay? Where did I ask you to receive the ball from the outside back? In here or out wide? A little bit wide, right? Wide. I asked you to open up, right? Okay? If you guys, midfielders, if you're having difficulty, if we have good possession, 
Okay, don't be afraid to split the two center backs and get it in here. Okay, and now you're really going to stretch out these guys. Okay, and as they start to move, outside back, center backs move. Outside backs, where can you move now? If the center backs start to get wide, where can the outside backs start to go? Can you show me? Where would you go? Okay, you can go in the midfield. Okay, but where, where can you go? Specifically where? Towards what? How about up the field? Perfect. Okay, and let's see if we can't stretch these guys out. Okay, can you play the ball out wide? Let's get started. Ready, play, quick. Good. Good, be patient, be patient, be patient. Here, here, here. Can you start to stretch them out? Eyes. Good. Good, Carter, if you start to see him. Excellent, unlucky. Ball's here, play. Doesn't have to be every time. So if the ball's on this side, I would start to come in, right? If you're not in possession, right, you want to tighten up, okay? So hopefully you start to see now, all right, you're giving them some ideas about how to build and how to have relationships, and it's starting to open up the spacing here to be more successful to be able to penetrate and get forward up the field. 4v1 at speed. Good, love that. Ball's here, play. Good, fantastic. Be patient, be patient. Go, uh, unlucky and play. Good, take a look, take a look. At speed, at speed. Ah, uh, well done, well done. Great ball, excellent. Great goal, excellent. And hold. So freeze for a quick second. A little bit better, right, with the spacing? A little bit easier now? Okay. So now let's make it a little bit more difficult. Nico, come back in, my friend, quickly. All right? And this is what we're going to do. Um, coaches, as we start to play, we're going to finish up, okay? Let's get – put your gloves on, okay? And we're going to start setting up for the last game, okay? Ready. Let's get the ball out here. I'll play it out. And we're live. Play. Quick. Good. Be patient. Be patient. Good. Eyes open. Remember, if you start to see him getting closed down, you can always drop in. Play, play, play. Cross your body. Take a look. Good. Up. Plant, plant. Ball's out. Ball starts here. Play. Thomas, you need to really take a look. Take a look. See what that left foot and see if you can play it. Okay. Good. And hold up there. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the last game for today. You ready, my friend? Okay. Why don't you hop in here? Okay, we got, our, we got our goal here, eight yards by eight feet, I promise. Okay, we make do. All right, ball always starts from the keeper, regular game. Okay, so we got 6v7 or 8v6, including the goalkeeper. Yellow, same rules apply. You win the ball, you got to score. Okay, and what we'll, we'll say is we'll do the, the height of the bleachers. Height of the bleachers between the two poles. Blue, you win the ball. You're trying to penetrate, okay, and find one of these two goals. All right? See if you can't, again, apply what we've been working on. The technique, the movement, okay, the relationships. And let's get a little more communication if possible, okay? Ready, ball start there. Play, quick. So obviously, guys, you have a larger field. You'll be able to paint the picture a little bit better. But I think the guys are doing a great job for what they've been given with. So now that we start to add some more layers and numbers, let's see. If Blue figures it out and is able to, again, maximize the space, okay, maybe a little more interchange. Ball's there. We start there. Play. Unlucky. Can you get back right away? Good save, keeper. Ball's out. Ball's out. Ball's out. Play here from the keeper. Quick, quick, quick. Good and hold, okay. Um, center backs, defenders, you can go wherever you'd like, okay. My suggestion would be 
Okay, remember, keep it as game realistic as possible right now. All right, so obviously you wouldn't be on top of your goalkeeper, okay, but for right now, all right, try and I wouldn't say you should have all four defenders on one half the field, right? That doesn't make any sense, okay? All right, so anyone can go anywhere. Free game, ready, play. Ah, unlucky, unlucky. Play on. Go. So this would normally be uh, a third activity or activity before you get to the actual game where you'd go to two goals. Um, obviously because of space and availability, uh, we're going to finish up with this today. All right. But um, biggest thing is you can put conditions on this. So right now, obviously, we're working with the blue group in terms of building up and playing. So you may say, hey, yellow, OK? You can play on, play on. Uh, yellow, you can only have three passes before you, can, before you need a shot. Or, yo, I need you to be direct, okay? So you give them the mind frame that they're trying to attack right away so that blue can get the ball back as quickly as possible. But start to see specifically. It's very easy when the goalkeeper has the ball with regards to their spacing. Let's start to see how blue interacts. Once they lose it, how they start to open up and use their space. Play on, play on. Oh, good save, keeper. We'll play from the keeper. We'll play there. Play. Good. Remember, if he's about to get pressured, adjust that angle. Get closer. If he's about to get pressured, adjust that angle. Good. Play on, play on, play on. Good. Across your body. Unlucky, unlucky. Ugh, unlucky. Is that goal regulation? Love it, love it, love it. Excellent. Be patient now. Last minute, last minute, last minute. Be patient, be patient, be patient. Good. Ball's here, ball's here, ball's here. Adjust that angle. Get closer, Nick, if you can. Adjust that angle. Good. Oh, I love that. I love that. Unlucky. So hopefully you start to see now. Keep playing, boys. Hopefully you start to see. Even if, even if the defenders aren't getting the ball, by creating some depth, you're opening up space, and you're making the, the, the opposition have to make decisions with regards to where they're positioned. So you're freezing those guys. You're opening up space for the midfield to move, to interact, to get the ball, and you're allowing your ability to be more fluid from the defensive to middle, middle third in possession. Last 30 seconds. Let's see. Blue, can you get a goal? Do we have width and depth? Good. I like that. I like that relationship. Communicate to each other. Ten seconds. Should we do the old college countdown? Ten. No, let's not. Good and time. Very good, boys. Do me a favor. Can you come in here, line up on the blue line right here for me? Guys, yes, please give these guys a round of applause. I thought they did a great job today. Guys, just a straight line here on the green. You can use, a, use your imagination. Continues down, okay? Uh, first off, give these guys, like I said, a continued round of applause. I thought they did a fantastic job. Again, the U14, U13, Alicats boys. Uh, thank you to my two assistants, uh, Jared Farrell and Eric Larkin, for assisting today. Um, again, you know, if you want to be a possession team, a technical team, 
Obviously, you need to be talented. You need to have good technique, good functional technique, technique related to the position and related to the part of the field. But you also need to develop relationships and movement. Okay, and soccer is a decision-making sport. You got it. It's not just about teaching technique, but it's about teaching decisions, visual cues, things to look for, so you can apply the right technique at the right time. And specifically, this part of the field, okay, defensive to middle third, where if you give up the ball, you get punished a lot quicker. It's very important that you guys are all on the same page and that you cooperate and are coordinated. So again, one more time, say thank you to uh, if you can, guys. Wave, give them a wave and a bow. Thank you very much, boys. And uh, I'll be more than happy to take any questions now. Boys, thank you very much. Any questions? Nope, no questions? All right, thank you very much, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you.